welcome to my channel like-minded this is for the sign of a fucus so this is for january 2022 please keep in mind that this is a general reading so all of the messages may or may not resonate if you would like a more personal reading all of my contact information is listed below so let's go ahead and see what the energies look like for january 2022 worry i'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome this is a very beautiful card too because it's like i feel like spirit is saying really release the worry because it really doesn't change the outcome and i know for certain situations you know worry may be um, harder to release or to let go but try to find time to quiet your mind and meditate and you will really feel the worry wash away I'm also getting to if you do feel worried um, anytime in January, it may be very beneficial to take some type of spiritual bath, maybe in sea salt or Epsom salt to really um, wash away any type of energy that no longer serves you. So I'm going to get you guys a card from my light minded Oracle deck. If you would like to purchase these cards, the link is in the description. They're very easy to read. You don't have to know how to read um, the cards and you could, you know, Pull your card daily just to get some type of inspiration. Time to act. So I feel like in January, you guys are going to have some type of aha moment. You're going to have some type of intuitive nudge. And you're going to know when it's time to move, when it's time to take action. let the money flow in very nice so this may be a very good crystal for you um, or stone for the month of january it could really attract in money money is just energy guys you literally are a spiritual being and you can attract and pull in that money into your life so either for some of you of fucuses you're either part sagittarius or scorpio you guys are going to have some money come in in january i love it Spirit, what messages for Ophucus? And I'm Ophucus myself, so I am excited <laughs> for the money to come in. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. And we have the Seven of Cups. So your overall energy is the hangman. So guys, it's really going to be very important for the month of January to find those moments of quiet, to find that downtime, because with the hangman, this is really you connecting with your inner world, really quieting your mind, meditating, connecting with your higher self and your spiritual team. You know, you may be going within to figure out like what really brings you happiness? What brings you fulfillment with the 10 of cups here? You may be thinking about your family's happiness as well. I feel like in January, we're going to be moving towards more balance with justice showing up here. This is part of the plan with the Knight of Pentacles. This is the most successful night of the deck. So I feel like whatever you're working on, you are going to be successful. You know, maybe have a very practical plan. It's very step by step, very melodic. You know, um, he is kind of slow. So, you know, just try not to rush things. Try to stay in the present and... Um, enjoy the journey that's what i'm getting from the the messages for you guys so starting off we have the ace of cups i feel like you guys are going to have some type of new beginning come in for january this could be a new love some type of new opportunity that really pulls at your heartstrings really provides you with some type of fulfillment really fills up your cup emotionally I feel like this new beginning, this new opportunity, this new love is going to provide you with a really good, strong foundation. This could be celebrations in the home as well. Next, we have the Four of Cups. So mid-January, there may be this energy of like you wanting to move forward. Um, you may feel a little bit bored, a little bit stagnant. Maybe the energy is a little bit slow. But with the Four of Cups, you know, Spirit is saying there's going to be some type of offer, some type of opportunity coming in, some type of blessing. And you have to make sure your eyes are open and you're paying attention and you're 
you know, your energy is open to accepting this offer, um, or you could miss this opportunity. Because I feel like this offer coming in is going to bring you more balance into your life. This could be with your time, your resources, or your money, or your energy, but I really feel like more balance is going to be coming in if you um, capitalize on this offer. So next we have the Seven of Cups. You guys may, at the end of the month, you may have a lot of options. For some of you, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed, not really sure what to pick. For others of you, there could be this energy of confusion. This is really important for you to go within. This is where you need to go within, quiet your mind, quiet the worry. Because there is this energy at the end of the month of something being unknown. You may not have all the answers. This is where you're really going to have to tap into your intuition. You guys could receive messages through your dreams as well. You have the emperor here. So I feel like at the end of the month, guys, you're really going to have to tap into your internal power in order to navigate through this foggy energy at the end of the month. But you have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you guys are going to be receiving messages, if not at the tail end of January, maybe at the beginning of February. I feel like these messages are going to be very uplifting and um, it's going to be some type of good news coming in for you guys. You have fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a fair woman with blonde, gray, or white hair may be significant in the month of January. You have jug. So just know that, you know, you are going to have moments of lighthearted, carefree time in January. So maybe spirit is saying, don't be so serious, lighten up a bit. You have love. Yeah, I definitely feel like for some of you guys, either you're going to feel an increased sense of love, maybe with your family, your partner connection. If not, you guys could have some new love come in. Dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair may be significant to you in January. Career, so some of you may um, have new opportunities when it comes to career, maybe some type of promotion or some type of unexpected opportunity nice dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past and you have let money flow in so you know you guys are definitely going to have some type of increase in abundance i feel this energy of love coming in for you as well very beautiful guys i'm going to get you guys a ruined stone Okay, and the stone for you, Ophiuchus, is victory. So know in the month of January, if you have any fears, any worries, any doubts, you are moving towards victory. You are going to get messages or some type of intuitive nudge so you know when to act. So be on the lookout for these unexpected blessings or opportunities to come into your life. So I'm wishing you guys a wonderful January for 2022. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm wishing you love and abundance, and until next time.